Included with the iPad is a note-taking app called Notes. Notes allows us to take short notes, make lists, or create little reminders for ourselves that we can then refer to at a later time. As we explore the Notes app, we'll also be looking at the typing mode, which allows us to change the way that we input text using the virtual keyboard. I'm going to activate the Notes app on the desktop by double tapping it. Notes. Notes. Once I get into the Notes app, I'm going to look for the Add button and double tap that. Search. Notes list. New note. Add button. Note. Text field. Is editing. Character mode. Once I double tap the Add button, Focus of VoiceOver moves to the edit field where I can start typing my note. So the virtual keyboard has now appeared on the lower third of my screen, and as I noted before, we're going to be touching on a subject called the typing mode. The default setting for typing mode is called standard typing, which allows me to input text by first finding the letter and then double tapping the screen to enter the letter into the edit field. So I'm going to start by just adding the first letter of my name. Capital C, capital F, capital G, okay. golf. I found the G. And now I'm going to double tap anywhere on the screen to add it to the field. As I double tap it, as I double tap the screen, you will hear a click which indicates that the letter has been placed into the edit field. Capital G. With standard typing, I can use the flicking motions that we've covered in previous sessions to move through the different letters of the keyboard. So for example, if I wanted to type my name, I can move, I can flick to the left until I hear the U. F D S A delete P O I U. Okay, and then double tap to add it. U. And then I can go to the letter S. R O P delete A S. And double tap. S. This is one way of adding text using standard typing. Another way to use standard typing is instead of double tapping, I can hold my one finger on the letter that I want to add or the character. For In this example, I'm going to use the space bar. So I'm going to find the space bar with my right hand. Space. And then with, my, with a finger from my other hand, I can tap anywhere else on the screen and it will add the space to my note. Space. Pass. And again, same thing, if I want to add text here, I can use this method. So let's say I wanted to add my last name. I can find the C. More X. C. C. F. G. G. H. H. E. W. A. A. Now what I'm doing is I'm finding the letter with my right hand and then tapping the screen with a finger from my left hand to add the letter to the edit field. Then, if I want to delete any of these characters, I can find the delete button. Delete. And double tap anywhere on the screen once I found it. A. Similarly, if I want to hold my one finger on the delete button. Delete. I can, I can tap once with another finger on the screen and delete the letter. H, C, space, S, U, capital. That's actually a little bit faster way of deleting as opposed to double tapping for each letter that you want to delete. So if I'm holding my one finger down on the delete button and tapping my other finger, it takes less time and less motion to actually complete my task. The other method of typing or the other mode of typing that is included or available on the iPad is called touch typing mode. And now touch typing mode basically allows me to touch the letter that I want to add, and as I lift my finger off the letter or off the screen, it adds that letter to the edit field. The way I access or the way I change typing modes is by accessing my rotor, and I'm going to do that using two hands, and I'm going to make a clockwise motion until I hear the words typing mode. Words, headings, containers, Characters, words, selected, character, containers, pair, <laughs> word, edit, typing mode. Okay. Once I hear typing mode, I release both fingers from the screen and then I flick up or down to cycle through the two available options. Again, the options available here are standard and touch typing. I'm going to flick up. Touch typing. And I'm going to flick up again. Standard typing. Okay, and again. Touch typing. So. There's only two options, so as I flick up, it just keeps cycling through those two different options. Now, 
in order to not change the typing mode by accident, I'm going to activate my rotor again and go back to a an attribute that's um, I'm going to go back to an attribute that's a little safer, like words or characters. Capital Q. Edit callback. Words. Great. Now, using my touch typing mode, I'm going to add again my name to the edit field. So I'm going to find the G. Capital B. Capital H. Capital G. Capital G. And I lifted my finger. T. T Y. U. I found the U. Uniform. And I'm going to lift my finger. U. S. S. Okay, this makes. Space. Space. Thus. Okay, this makes for a quicker way of editing. Now, one thing to note with touch typing, while the letters do allow for single finger addition to a text edit field, the action-oriented keys like delete and shift and return do still require the double tap or the double finger combination that I showed you previously. So we're gonna, I'm going to delete the name again by finding the delete button. Delete. And I'm going to be tapping with another finger elsewhere on the screen. Space. S. U. Capital G. And now we have a blank note. And that's notes and typing mode.